Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate everyone tuning in today. Um, I had done a video the other day about ghillie suits and things like that, and towards the end of the video, I had briefly discussed a little bit about a uh, some type of head cover, and <clears throat> I decided to construct another one, and I've got part of it done. I uh, worked on it a little bit last night and wanted to just kind of... I didn't go into a lot of detail about that, and I want to... Uh, do that uh, with you guys today um, because this right here I think is a pretty important part of the um, camouflage system and I had mentioned in the video about using the hat I use and so forth this right here was a simple uh, Glock hat that I had that I'd um, no longer wearing I mean I'd wear it occasionally it was still in good condition it was just faded and dirty and so forth and for this purpose it worked out great um, what I use and I'm gonna turn this over so you can kind of see what's going on if you look I use this um, fish netting and what I did was I cut it you know you can kind of guesstimate how big you want it um, and how, how much you want it to drape over and things like that so I've got it started now, and what I did was I um, went in and I um, got it all lined up. And if you'll find you like a ball that you can put this on or some type of stand, it, it makes it easier to, to work with. And um, what I did was I took shoe goo, I laid out the net uh, evenly on the across the hat and uh, how I wanted it to, to be more longer in the front where the bill was. Then I took shoe goo and glued the net to the hat. And that way it, uh, and it takes a little while, like I told you in that other video, it takes a little while for that stuff to dry. So it's a little bit of a tedious process trying to get everything dried and all that. So it just takes a little while, a little patience. And then um, I started cutting out burlap strips. And if you remember, I had talked about jute rolls like this. I'm going to tell you another little trick about these jute rolls. If you can pull it from the inside, as long as it doesn't have a core, like a like a cardboard core, but if it's, it's hollow like this, pull from the inside, and what that does is allow you to pull it straight out. And if you pull it from the outside, now the, the jute roll uh, will roll around on you and things. But this right here, you can literally, uh, this makes it a lot faster if you'll pull it out from the center. So I've started attaching jute. And again, you can cut random links. Just start cutting different links, short, long, whatever. Uh, you can make them uniform if you decide you want to cut them all, you know, 12 inches or 14 inches, 16 inches, and then, you know, get you uh, one started that's that length and then just cut everything else to that length. And also, when you cut from the center, the first portions of them are going to be curly. So, I've just cut up a bunch of them, cut up a few here, and I'm going to show you on camera. And uh, again, if you've got something you can set this on, it works better and I don't have anything down here I was upstairs when I was working on it so I don't have anything to really set it up on let me look here this is just a cardboard tube and uh, but if you see how I've got it set up on this little platform here now and uh, I'm gonna try doing some of this on camera but I've got it now where I've got it the hat elevated up on this cardboard tube and I'm simply just gonna go around and start folding this over finding a blank spot of netting right, let me see. go through and around and tighten it up just like that and you can put as much or as little um, you, obviously you want enough to have a base but you don't have to have this thing where it's just a because this stuff starts getting heavy and if it gets wet it gets real heavy so you don't have to have a ton of this stuff on here 
where it's just so bushy and crazy if you look this is um you can still see some of the netting but that's uh that's got pretty good coverage and if you start adding foliage to that natural vegetation it will do just fine so you don't have to have a ton of it and i don't know if you can see here but these strips here that was some camouflage material i had left over and i keep all my camouflage material and i went in and just started adding a few strings uh, strands here and there just to kind of break up the pattern a little bit and uh, i also went in last night and i started hitting it with some camouflage this right here is the brown and i just started dabbing in to light darken up some of the colors uh, on the back side of this uh, material it was just all solid green and it's it's an od green but it's not a dark green so i just kind of you want to change up the pattern and you can do that with simple spray paint and um, then also like i told you in the other video the um this right here where the glue is it um it's shiny when that dries so you'll need to spray that to get that shine um, off of there so it won't glisten in the sun and to do that you just need to spray it with uh, some uh, paint to get that shine off of it but uh, it's a it's a neat project it, like i said it takes a little while it's a little time consuming but uh, it's not that hard a project you don't have to go out and buy anything too fancy i'm sure you've got an old uh, ball cap around um i think ball caps work the best again i've got this one this ball cap was actually black and there's not a lot of black in nature so i went in and and highlighted it with uh, spray paint on the outside with um some khaki tan and kind of got that harsh hard black um look out from under where it would show through underneath but uh you uh, like i said you don't have to put a ton of these things where you just put a lot of bulk and weight you can do some of it and then i'm gonna add some to this a little more but um it uh pretty easy i also went in here and uh, there's vent holes in the top of this so I took some 550 cord and made a little neck string. This right here, keep it on your head easier if you're moving. So you don't have to worry about it knocking off. This right here also, because of what it is, if you look, you can see where I've went in and highlighted it with this uh, tan color. And because of the netting that was draped over it, it actually kind of gave it a, a little bit of a uh, camouflage pattern. But you can go in here and again, just kind of hit the hat in some different areas keep it from being so stark black and even underneath you can add some dots kind of lighten it up be careful putting it on where your sweatband is it could irritate your skin but uh you know kind of lighten up around the edge but simple paint will help you accomplish that you don't have to go out and buy a dedicated uh, camouflage hat i mean it's always nice to have one uh, if you want to use that as the base but again i'm trying to teach you how to do things on a budget and uh, when you buy this um, netting you should have plenty left over to do other projects you could do again a rifle cover to do a little rifle ghillie you could do uh, all kinds of things um, with it and be able to uh, have a lot extra and uh, so forth but i'll show you a little trick too the shorter you make these the more they'll stand up especially on the top very top of the hat if you do them real long they'll drape over and not stand up but see if you look that's going to be more it's going to stand up better so little short ones on the top will help that uh, break up that uh, pattern where it's uh, with uh, some bulk with these things being able to again little short pieces just come up here on top this is the very top of the hat area find a piece of empty netting a little short piece now see how that stands up on that one right there so that's how you're going to be able to do that um 
you can obviously i had a bunch of different colors green a couple different light greens dark greens um if you can just find one color the tan the this natural jute color that's fine and then just spray paint it down uh different colors that you need uh, if that's all you can find at the time or something uh, or you may have uh the jute twine already and then you don't want to go out and buy any more but you can find this stuff in the garden section and I was going to tell you another trick that I forgot to mention in the video. I've got a one of those real tight wire brushes that use for dogs. If you'll go in and um, set this on a, a sturdy hanger um, and hang it up, and then I just brush the snot out of that thing. I just kept brushing it, brushing it, brushing it, and it'll start letting those fibers uh, open up, and it'll be more bushy. So that'll help speed the process up of getting that thing more of a bushy look instead of these, uh, you know, more tighter woven uh, strands um, because of the string that you're using being a tighter uh, weave when you're first uh, when you first buy them, and uh, that will help speed that process up to make it more bushy uh, looking. But uh, anyway, guys, it's a neat little project. I think uh, it will help you guys out. Once I get done with this, getting that kind of built up the way I want. I'm going to take these uh, pipe cleaners here I discussed, and I'm going to, uh, these are here I actually uh, had taken out of another project that I'd worked on, but uh, same kind of situation, I um, take in, these are pretty long, I'm going to see if I can undo this one here for you, I'll kind of show you what it looks like when you start. And I guess these are probably 10 or 12 inch pipe cleaners, but they're going to be about that long. And I just double them over like that. And then um, same principle, uh, you'll just run them through the netting like that. And then uh, what you can do is normally I just kind of go in half and then pull it up to where it's like that. And at the very bottom, then I just kind of twist the... Um, pipe cleaner uh, around on itself like that and if you don't want the pipe cleaners long you can trim those down with some simple scissors so you can uh, see so if you don't want them that long you can trim those and that way this right here allows you to wrap in quickly and tie in natural vegetation uh, by utilizing um, these pipe cleaners and again if you don't like that green color on the pipe cleaner just take some paint do that maybe you want it a little more dark brown you can do that and uh, it blends in a little better by doing stuff like that so anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions post those below um, if you would uh, if you like our videos give us a thumbs up that always helps us uh, share videos on your local with your social media and forums you participate on that's always helpful too as always guys like share and subscribe and we'll be bringing another video shortly have a great day guys